you know, the effort and intensity have been, have been great. Maybe this was kind of the first bad day you guys have had. Um, what did you think was kind of missing early on? Uh, well, we turned the ball over a lot. I mean, we gave them, um, they shot 15 more shots than us. Uh, you know, they out rebounded. I only, had, I only had three rebounds. I got to be better in helping the bigs out. Uh, rebounding the basketball, I think that would have that would have definitely uh, turned the tide on the game if I was down there mixing it up a little bit more. Uh, but you know, they we turned the ball over 19 times. They scored 23 points off of it, and you know they took 15 more shots than us. That's pretty much the game. And to only lose by four, you know, we're seeing some good things, but more than more than anything, we got to be better. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, you're used to being the guy with the target on your back your whole career. Uh, Jarrett just admitted that, you know, the Nets have always been the underdogs and they now have to learn a, a different mindset. How long do you think that takes for uh, guys who are, are new to this situation compared to you and Kyrie? Yeah, I mean, I think I think those guys know the circumstances and know, what, you know, how other teams are going to play us. And, you know, it's just a matter of going out there and really feeling that. Um, and tonight they showed us, they, they, they made us, you know, feel them on both ends of the floor. And, you know, it's good to have that target on your back. It's going to bring the best out of you. And I think Jared was incredible tonight. And, and you know, you, you could tell he brought the best out of him. And, you know, he's, uh, he's just getting better and better each and every day. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Kevin, just word, you guys were so good on defense at first game. Because what, what were your biggest issues with you guys defensively tonight outside of the, the turnovers and whatnot? Yeah, we were a little bit too loose on switches when we were point switching and they were slipping out. And, uh, Coach Marengo made some, uh, some great quick hits, you know, over the top, uh, your uh, ducking passes when we were slipping and the quick slips, you know, on the screen and rolls they were getting and getting into space. So um, we got to be ready for that, especially when we use our switching defenses. Teams are going to start to uh, slip out of those screens, play with a little bit more pace. And, you know, we was behind on a few plays, especially on closeouts. And, now we're filing and now guys can, you know, drive and kick. So I think we just got to be a little bit more solid um, on some of our actions and, and, and be a little bit more physical and, and communicate. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Two for you, Kevin. First, Jarrett was talking about the target on your back is something he just needs some time to learn. Do you think that's something that you having been there can help him learn that sort of thing? Uh, I, I just think, uh, you know, those guys are going, you know, just kind of decipher each experience the way they want to do it. You know, I, I feel like I, if he has tips, I, you know, I'll tell him you know, how I feel about a situation, but he'll go through it himself and, and make the correct correct adjustments. But I, I think he's been bringing it every single game. I mean, you know, he comes out there and, and opposing his will on the offensive glass and, you know, setting screens. So I think he, he gets it. He understands the moment and he's only going to get better. And then secondly, you've talked about every game as sort of a building block for you. How do you see a back-to-back -back as a building block? Is that something where it's that's a, a level for you? Well, definitely. I definitely want to, you know, be able to play back-to-backs and get to them healthy and, and play my normal minutes. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. And we'll see how, you know, we'll talk about it tomorrow.